Water scarcity is among the greatest global challenges of the 21st century. With growing populations and the intensifying effects of climate change, many nations face the immense challenge of securing reliable and sustainable water resources. Israel stands out as a global leader in tackling this issue. Situated in a desert and historically plagued by chronic water shortages since its establishment in 1948, Israel has achieved a remarkable feat. Today, it produces 20% more water than it needs. Not only has Israel resolved its own water crisis, but it has also become a leading exporter of water technologies to other countries. To accomplish this, Israel undertook one of the world's most ambitious water infrastructure projects, which has since become a symbol of resilience and innovation. Today, let's explore Israel's remarkable water highway, looking at its history, design, challenges, and impact worldwide. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video to support this channel. Believe it or not, Israel is now using salty water from the Mediterranean to refill its largest natural freshwater source, the Sea of Galilee, a feat that is nothing short of extraordinary. This water is filtered through desalination plants along the Mediterranean coast and transported to the Sea of Galilee in the north. 2030, Israel will desalinate 1.1 billion cubic meters of uh, seawater and uh, that will anticipate all the future needs, including uh, the growth of the population. This approach not only addresses Israel's water needs, but also creates a surplus, allowing Israel to share water with neighboring countries. To fully appreciate Israel's water innovation, it's important to look at its history. By the 1950s, water shortages in Israel had become critical, threatening the nation's development and agriculture. The urgent need for effective water management grew as waves of Jewish immigrants arrived, swelling the population and placing further strain on the country's natural resources. This situation demanded swift, innovative solutions. In 1937, British engineer Walter Clay Loudermilk proposed a visionary idea, diverting water from the Jordan River and its northern tributaries to the dry Negev Desert in the south. Although the project was delayed by World War II and subsequent geopolitical tensions, Loudermilk's concept laid the groundwork for what would eventually unfold. Following Israel's declaration of independence in 1948, the young nation set out to build a massive water infrastructure project, the National Water Carrier, an initiative that would transform the country's approach to water. Water was sourced from the rain-fed Sea of Galilee in the north and transported to the arid south which receives no rainfall. Israel took on considerable debt to finance this large-scale project, but it was an investment that enabled life to flourish across the country. The National Water Carrier is an engineering marvel, a 130-kilometer system of canals, tunnels, pipelines, reservoirs, and pumping stations that extends from the Sea of Galilee in the north to the Negev Desert in the south. Construction was carried out by Makorot, Israel's national water company, beginning in 1953. The project was one of the most complex and challenging civil engineering undertakings of its time, requiring the creation of large reservoirs and a network of pumps designed to move water over considerable elevations. A standout feature of the system is the main pipeline, a combination of above-ground canals and underground pipes that spans much of the country. The system starts at a pumping station near the Sea of Galilee, where water is drawn from the lake and pumped more than 200 meters above sea level using powerful pumps. From there, the water flows through a series of tunnels and canals, including the 17-kilometer-long Esh Tunnel, which was the world's longest water tunnel at the time of its completion. The water then passes through the Esh Reservoir, where it undergoes treatment and filtration to ensure quality. From there, it continues its journey southward, flowing through the central plains until it reaches the Negev Desert. Along the way, the system includes a network of branch lines that distribute water to cities, towns, 
and agricultural settlements across Israel. The project's engineering also took into account the need to preserve the ecological balance of the Sea of Galilee, carefully regulating water extraction to avoid depleting the lake's natural reserves. Completed in June 1964 at a cost of 400 to 20 million Israeli lira, approximately $112 million, or $1.1 billion in today's currency, the national water carrier initially allocated 80% of its water for agriculture and 20% for drinking. Over time, as more water was needed for drinking, the carrier gradually shifted its allocation. By the early 1990s, it was supplying half of Israel's drinking water. Eventually, the Sea of Galilee became a strategic water source for Israel, providing water not only to Israel, but also to the Kingdom of Jordan. Under the 1994 peace agreement between Israel and Jordan, Israel initially supplied Jordan with 25 million cubic meters of water annually. In 2021, this amount was doubled to 50 million cubic meters, making the Sea of Galilee Jordan's primary water source. Then, in 2017, following five years of drought, water levels in the Sea of Galilee dropped to historic lows. This critical situation highlighted the need for immediate and innovative solutions, prompting Israel to adopt a comprehensive approach to managing its water resources. Israel began building desalination plants along the Mediterranean coast, where seawater could be converted into fresh water suitable for drinking, agriculture, and industrial use. Israel's journey with desalination actually began in the 1960s, when researchers and engineers first started exploring the potential of reverse osmosis technology. Over the years, Israel refined its desalination technology, making it increasingly efficient and affordable. A major breakthrough occurred in the early 2000s with the construction of the Ashkelon desalination plant, one of the world's largest at the time. Today, Israel has multiple desalination plants along the Mediterranean coast, Together, these facilities produce around 600 million cubic meters of fresh water annually, meeting about 80% of Israel's domestic drinking water needs. In 2022, Israel took an unprecedented step by launching a project to pipe desalinated water into the Sea of Galilee to help maintain its water level during dry years. This was the first instance globally of using desalinated water to replenish a natural lake. As part of this initiative, Mekarat, Israel's national water company, constructed a 13-kilometer underground pipeline connecting the Sea of Galilee to infrastructure that links with five desalination plants along the Mediterranean. A second phase, set for completion in the coming years, will involve additional desalinated water from new production plants, as well as water from wells in the north, directed into the Sea of Galilee. Israeli engineers recognize that effective water management involves not only conserving available fresh water, but also utilizing previously unusable sources. Beyond desalination, Israel has adopted other groundbreaking water technologies it has one of the world's most advanced wastewater treatment systems, with over 90% of wastewater treated and reused, primarily for agricultural irrigation. A crucial element of this wastewater recycling system is the Shafdan Wastewater Treatment Plant, located in the Don region near Tel Aviv. Treated water from Shafdan is pumped to the Negev Desert, where it supports crop irrigation, enabling Israel to sustain agricultural production even in arid areas. Israel also pioneered drip irrigation technology, which slowly applies water directly to the roots of plants through a system of tubes, valves, and drippers. This method minimizes evaporation, allowing plants to absorb about 95% of the water used. As a result, farms can operate with less water without compromising crop yields. Israel continues to enhance the efficiency, filtration, and production capacity of its water conservation technologies, supported by upgraded systems and regional partnerships. 
This unique approach to water management sets Israel's conservation program apart from many others and offers valuable lessons for nations facing water scarcity. Israeli companies like IDE Technologies, Netafim, and Mekarot are already sharing their water management expertise worldwide, aiding countries such as India, China, Australia, and the United States in their own efforts to tackle water shortages. However, Israel still confronts ongoing water management challenges. Climate change is expected to intensify water scarcity across the Middle East, resulting in more frequent and severe droughts. Additionally, geopolitical tensions over shared water sources, like the Jordan River, could complicate future water security. In response, Israel continues to invest in research and development, exploring new innovations such as solar-powered desalination, atmospheric water generation, and even more efficient wastewater treatment methods.